Hey guys, and welcome to a Minecraft, uh, let's call it a Minecraft build, I guess. <laughs> the, uh, one of the, uh, when I start a new world, one of the types of houses that I really like to start with, at least, and sometimes I stick with it because I really like it, is what I call an elevated house. And I've got an example of it right up here. It's real simple to build, but it's extremely practical and, uh, um, it, it takes some wood to do, which is fairly easy to get early in the game, and it kind of gives you it gives you space and time and and whatnot to uh, you know get established, and then you can go on to build something else if you want. But as I said, oftentimes I just uh, stick with this style of house. I really like this house. I especially like this type of house in the jungle, where I can just I build this in the jungle, and then. Um, I just expand from it uh, in the jungle, but it's called an elevated house because it's actually it is actually elevated, as you can see. Uh, this is a good house to start on if you play a flat uh, flat world, uh, super flat world, because uh, it keeps the mobs out. Now, I've got a perimeter fence around here, as you can see, and I made it out of woods. I kind of I'm mixing and matching the birch and the oak here. I think it I think it actually goes together pretty well. Um, the half sla the uh, slab here across the top is to keep the spiders out and they may be able to sneak through this opening I'm not sure it's only one wide I don't think they can um, but uh, yeah that that's to keep them because they'll, what they'll do is they'll climb up and then they'll get caught up underneath that I use that in my flat core server as well and it's a fairly common technique <clears throat> now the house is as I said elevated up on on stilts if you will here and what I've done here, and what I normally do, is I, I build a farm underneath it. Got some melons going, got some pumpkins, wheat, carrots, and potatoes. And then the rest of this is open. Now, what I did, uh, when I was on the Mog Swamp fan server, what I did is I built this. This was in the, in the jungle. I built this. And then what I did is I went down, and I just did different layers, and built a... Uh, uh, a mining area down there, a big old storage area down there, because I don't really have a lot of storage in the place right now. But here's the little living quarters, fairly simple, uh, some furnaces and a bed, uh, like as I said, a little bit of storage there. Uh, the the um, The areas along the side here would probably work well for storage. In other words, you could you could stack uh, chests along here if you wanted to. But as I said, I norm what I normally do is I build down and I build a regular storage system. Uh, but this is like a, a little starter place. It takes it takes a lot of wood, but wood is easy to get. It's easy to get uh, in the beginning of the game. You just you know chop down trees. This this uh, hilltop was just covered in trees. And after chopping them all down, I had a ton of wood. So, you know, if you clear out a space like this, then, um, yeah, you'd be able to um, probably get most of it and then just plant some trees and whatnot. And um, I've got the little area up there, which we'll look at here in a minute. Uh, but this is the living area. And then if we go up here, I've got my enchanting area set up. And uh, this gives you also gives you just a really nice view of the of the area, and uh, this seed is actually quite uh, quite pretty. I mean, uh, it's uh, it's got extreme hills over there, a taiga forest there. This is a regular forest here, regular forest over there, forest hills in that direction. So let me uh, put up the seed here. And just pause the video and there it is if you want to mess with it and I'll, I'll try to uh, put it in the description if I remember right uh, spot you spawn right there in that spot right there on that little plains area so uh, I like this song I don't know if you can quite hear it or not but it's pretty nice but uh, yeah a little elevated house um, I had suggested this to Phaleron in his uh, in his uh, Terra Firmacraft series, 
you know, because he's got wood and kind of stuff. He's got a plenty of wood, and this would be a good place for him, good uh, starter house for him. So I'll put a link to his uh, series down in the description as well. If you're not watching it, you should be. It's really good, and he's uh, using the updated version of Terraforma Craft as well. So, yeah, so you're, he's just starting the series, so if you get into it now, you won't be missing anything. Uh, but, yeah, this is the the elevated house, chanting area, a little farm down here that will keep you going. And as you can see, the farm fits in here real nicely. And I've got it lit up, so it shouldn't get any spawns in here. should be fairly spawn-proof. And I put it on top of this hill just for the view, because it's just such a pretty view. I mean, you just have a, a great view of, of the whole area here. And uh, yeah, you're on top of a hill, so it's probably not going to get a lot of mobs coming up after you. You know, they'll be spawning around the edges. But but uh, yeah, just a quick little uh, video to, to uh, show off this elevated house. Um, I, I made it two stories. You don't need to make it two stories. I mean, you could put the, your enchanting system down here if you wanted to. Uh, but I made it two stories because I wanted, because I re this area is so pretty. I just wanted to uh, have a little observation platform up here so you could, you know, so you could just look around and stuff. And it's starting to rain. But, oh, it's starting to storm here. Weather clear, is it? I think that's right. Yeah. There we go. So, yeah, and then this is actually, this is just a random seed. I just, I didn't even, I put it, didn't put a seed in there. I just uh, started it up. But this is a nice little world, too. At least in the spawn area, you've got several different, I haven't explored, so I don't know what else is here. But uh, this is sure a pretty little area, and you spawn right there. So, gosh, this would be a fun little world, I think, to explore and look around as well so there you have it the elevated house so Falaron if you watch this uh, yeah give it a go if you if you think it's worth it so alrighty guys I appreciate you watching see you in the next one goodbye